Okay, what do we got? Ah, oh, that's right, we got a coin. Or trading in that shop. Now I remember. What is this though? The small green mint looks very tasty. Oh yeah, the mint. What about that as well? Okay, well I guess we'll go to the pawn shop. Trade our coin in. Alexander season. Now what did we get last time? Whatever we got last time didn't work. Good day, Prince Alexander. Good day, sir. Um I think we got the float, didn't we? Which didn't work. So... I have this copper coin. Is it of any value to you at all? Hmm, most interesting. I have never seen a Daventry coin before, but it is copper genuine enough. I might even find a buyer who is interested in foreign currency. The items on the front counter are the only things in the store that I can let go for the price of one copper. You may make your choice from there. Alexander looks at the items on the counter to make his selection. Good work, Alexander. Um, okay, so last time we took the flute, which didn't work. So I'm guessing we need to take this. Whatever that was, some kind of duck. A mechanical nightingale made of tin is perched on the counter. Or a, or a nightingale, I guess. Could be a duck. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. It's now ours. Very well. Your coin is well spent. Remember, this is a pawn shop. I am always willing to take back my own goods in trade. I'll remember. Thank you. Very handy. Very handy business model you've got there, sir. Alright. Let's go deal with these goblins or dwarfs or gnomes or whatever they were. Can't actually remember. Um, so we need to go to the beach. The only issue we've got, actually, I should probably save the game now that I think of it. Um, we'll go save this one as Nightingale. Nightingale, is that how you spell it? No idea. Um, just thinking we should save it because Alexander pulls out his magic map. I don't actually know how we're supposed to get past the other ones. Guessing we've got the first two figured out. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. But I'm not sure about the ones after that, so we'll have to see. We do have the um, invisibility thing, so I'm guessing that is for one of them. Wait, is this where we need to be? I think this is the wrong island. It is. God damn. Alright. Um... Alexander Try that again. pulls out his magic map. Uh, must be Isle of Wonder then. Alexander feels a I strange sure pulling sensation. That's right, we had the sleeping clams. Sleepy, sleepy clams. Okay, so what did we have here? We had the flowers for the first one. And then I'm guessing it's the nightingale for the second. Um, no idea what's after that. I'm assuming the ink is for one because that like made us invisible. And I don't know. I don't know after that. We'll have to see. But this is probably going to be some form of um, Alexander, here's some progress, I guess. It's the e the weird, weird looking little dwarves or whatever they are. Be. Watch for a foreign man, said he, with ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If man it be, then man it dies. Man it dies, no. Don't kill me, please. Smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Don't do it, Tom. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. 
Jumbo nose. Take that, Jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Listen, hark you, Rogan. Now I've got the man made of ears. As you With your ears, please tell us more. Okay. Um. Um, so I'm guessing it's us. I don't know how this would work, but I'm assuming that's what it's for. Didn't you play this scene at last stream? We did, but um, we got past the nose one. But then, My ears oh crap! Can't miss that strong it took too long. A man it is. A um, we didn't get past this one though. A so man, we. A man so ears. We shall send him to his beer. <laughs> Yep, so this is what happens. We have to get past each of them, I think, or something different. Um, and I'm assuming we can get past the second one now with the bird. It took a bit too long there, though. <laughs> These voices, the they are uh, some too far out pretty the weird gnomes. The pretty strange. Under. Slightly terrifying, I must say. Don't worry, we'll get to see them again. Because I'm going to have to reload. Listen, hark you, Grogonor, do your duty as you swore. With your ears, please tell us more. Okay, so this guy's gonna listen, and I'm guessing the bird does something. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears. Do it. Come on, birdie, save me. You can do it, birdie. Oh, he's dancing. He likes it. He likes our tune. He likes a our tune. A nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. Sneaky, sneaky. Taste, oh, taste? What the? Is he gonna do it? Lick me? That's creepy, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, end bosses of each hell is very resourceful. Wouldn't have had a voice over if that was the wrong choice. Uh, no, because I did have a flute before. Um, and I did play the flute for him, and it was the wrong choice, so they seem to have put quite a lot of dialogue into this game. Because we had the choice to like get a, get the bird or to get the flute, and I assumed from him being like the listening one that the flute would do it, but it was not the flute. Um, okay, so this is the tasting guy, maybe the mint. Alexander holds the mint out for the gnome with the gigantic mouth. Eat it. Grumplump knows a tasty treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. Good. Get out of here. Well, this guy's got some massive hands. Use your hands. Is it beast or is it man? Trilly Dilly. What are we going to give Trilly? We've given the feather. Maybe he can feel... Oh, or the rabbit's foot. Oh, what's it going to be? I'm kind of thinking the rabbit's foot. I'm going to go off the rabbit's foot. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Probably wrong, but... Be all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. Yeah, we did it. Except for this guy. Oh, Who's this guy? Never fatter. Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. This guy's got some big eyes. Um, so this guy's probably going to be the ink, I'm assuming. Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. 
Let's now away. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. Good work, Alexander. Okay, time to save, I believe. Save it as. Uh, what can we save it as? No idea. Gnome's defeated. It's not very exciting, but at least we know what it is. Alright, we can make some progress. What do we got? What is this? This tree looks like it's alive. A stick is stuck in the middle of the swamp. Probably going to die if we try to walk through that swamp. Milkweed thrives near the mucky swamp. Small bottles filled with milk grow on it like fruit. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Let's get some. Get some milk. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Hmm. Oh crap. Apparently, that's the slightly terrifying. tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. Sorry, tree. Did we actually get the milk? We did. Okay. Interesting. A large tree stretches knotted limbs out over the swamp. Part of the tree's trunk is shaped like the face of a dog. Why, it must be a dogwood tree. It must be. And there's a face down here as well. The fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. Let's touch it. Let's poke it. The bump on the log does not look particularly interesting to Alexander. Looks like it's got a face. Maybe that's just me. Um. Okay, if we try to walk across here, are we going to die? The I'm going to take that as a yes. Sinks beneath Alexander's weight. He feels himself being sucked slowly but firmly down into the muck. See you later, Alexander. As the marshy water fills Alexander's mouth, he thinks that although he'd always wanted to try a mud bath, this is hardly what he had in mind. <laughs> oh, Alexander. You're so silly. Dickens! Oh! Next! Do you ever get that sinking feeling? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, that didn't go too well. Stay out of the bog, I guess. Grab our milk again. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from the milkweed bush. Good stuff. Maybe this is a clue for like. Apparently, the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander um, standing that close. Giving the milk to the dog guards, possibly. Whoa, what is going on here? Slightly terrifying. Everything has faces in this game. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. Baby's tears? What the hell's baby's tears? Alexander doesn't want to pick the baby's tears. They may not be done growing. Sorry. Sorry, can we talk to them? Hello. Aren't you a bunch of fine-looking young plants? Okay. <laughs> the baby's tears haven't learned to talk yet. Interesting. Vines of sweet ripening tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. Do they talk? We converse with the tomatoes. Good day, tomato vines. Good morning. Good morning. A colorful array of snapdragons stand guard to one side of the path. Cool. Do they talk too? Probably not. Good day, snapdragons. Jesus. The snapdragons don't seem inclined to communicate with anyone. Okay, let's stay away from them. Not very nice. The wallflowers look terribly shy. <laughs> Funny. Nice reference. Greetings, ladies. How charming you look today. The wallflowers They're are so shy. shy to talk to Alexander. Such shy wallflowers. 
the hell's that thing? There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. Is that a hole? It looks like a little man or something. It is. Through the hole in the wall, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. What in the hell is going on? It really is a hole in the wall. Huh? Zombies. Those wallflowers sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. Sorry, snapdragons. I guess we have to, like, uh, do something for them. Maybe we can give them uh, some milk. Have some milk. Would you lovely flowers be interested in this? Guess not. Guess not. What else can we give them? Whoa, what are they? Snapdragons. Don't know. A bird. Have a bird. Would you lovely flowers be interested in this? Guess not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can we go through the door? Looks like it's made of cheese. Can't. Oh. Where the hell are we now? A noble white chest knight stands at the top of the marble stairs. Oop. A red chest knight stands at the top of the marble steps. Can we talk to them? Excuse me, what land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave! Obviously. I see. And is Chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isles? It is the home of the Red and White Queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the king of the land of the Green Isles. Okay. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great king and queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. All right. So we can't go through here, or what? I Please. must insist, your highness. Queens? I shall send the lump of coal to the wizier and the princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, your highness? I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your Highness always got to carry the Singing Stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The Singing Stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. What is going on it right now? It wasn't your stone! It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury! Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers! Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Quiet, your highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm confused. Sorry, what are we doing? I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a ridiculously stupid idea! Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh yes, obviously a man of high intelligence. What's that? Snake. The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. What if? Silliest thing I ever heard. 
Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. Cool. Um, what's this? Snake. Alexander picks up the Red Queen's scarf. Yeah, that makes more sense. Um, cool, we've got a scarf. The scarf is made of red silk. Red silk. Do we need... No. I feel like there was silk was referenced somewhere. Maybe I'm thinking of last game. I don't know. Can we get through here? I'm going to get blocked off. Oh. Checkmate! Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land. Oh, sorry. That's right. Humans aren't allowed in and never will be. Stay out! <laughs> okay. Fine. I guess we have to... Wind up bird. Yes, we have a wind up bird. The it allowed us to was made of tin painted dreary shades of brown to match the coloring of a real nightingale. A small key emerges from its back. Um, we used it to get past those weird, weird goblins. Oh, gnomes, sorry, it was gnomes. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're doing in this garden. I'm not quite sure. All right, we'll try to use the milk on those dogs. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Yeah. I don't really see how dogs would like uh, milk. Milk seems more like something for cats than for dogs. You never know. Gotta try everything. A group of serving women approach the castle. Hurry up, girls! There's plenty of work afoot today. No time to dawdle. Who are these people? Yes, Sergeant Gruff. Oh, they're maids. Oh, wait. Is that the maid that we saw in the garden? Perhaps that's the maid we saw in the garden. It's well that they're here, Wolf. Cook has about driven himself mad, I hear, worrying over the wedding preparations. I won't! What a celebration there will be today! Wine will flow like a river of red! Alright, let's see if we can give them some milk. Please. If you'll only I assume be dogs reasonable, drink milk. I assume they I do. Really must see the princess. But I don't be feel gone. like they'd like. You're not welcome at the castle. Prince shun their duties Alexander and let us through. Over we have milk. our orders, and they are quite clear. All right, let's try the milk. Go milk. There's no point in using that on the castle. Oh, no, he's on the dog. I really must get inside the castle to see the princess. Perhaps this will convince you. Be gone! We have no interest in anything you carry. You are not welcome at the castle. Oh no, well, then how are we supposed to get in? We saw the maids go in there. Unless we can go around to the, um... To the vines that were on this side now and do something. Be a possibility. Um, so we tried to climb these before, but it didn't really work. The vines are too flimsy to support Alexander. Oh, maybe we can give them milk. Make them strong. Alexander. Alexander. Nope. Okay. Um, I don't know how we're supposed to make these vines stronger. Maybe a scarf. That would serve no purpose. Oh, where did our milk go? Hey. That is a good question. 
What the hell? Where did our milk go? Um, what? Wait, did it work on the vines? And did I just like skip that dialogue? Or did I drink it? Maybe I drank it. Might have drunk it. The vines are too. Yeah, I think we drank it Alexander. accidentally. That was silly. We'll have to go get some more. Uh, but I'm assuming these vines. Why would Alex got something to do with this? All right, we're gonna have to go get some more milk. I feel like there was like mention of the scarf somewhere, or like silk, something we needed. Don't quite remember what it would have been, but Jesus, Kitty, what are you doing? Cat has taken a liking to my microphone. Come on, come sit here. Go help my daughter. She needs something to fix her hair. Do it. Yes, stepmother. Come on. Come on. Sit here. Um. Okay. So, I must have to do something in that garden, that weird garden with like sentient tomatoes. Or what though? I might go back to the pawn shop and see if there's any other items that might be able to help us. I can't remember what else was there. There was like a flute. Your Ooh, candy this guy's dish back. Is empty. Yeah, not the candy dish. Is that jammed or is it just? I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Wasn't we'll me. Get some more then. I swear. I really like his mints. I fear that is impossible. Without the ferry, I can no longer get imports from the other island. Oh, and crap. We do not Got go a mint shortage. On the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. Too bad, man. Too bad. You've got a mint addiction. You just need to get that get that out get that under control. Go on. Get out of here. All right. What were the other items we could use? Take your bird back. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex. Please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander Thanks, looks man. closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. We've got a paintbrush. What is this thing? A battered tinder box is displayed on the counter. Tinder box. So that's for like lighting fires or something, right? Or like torches or whatever. Or is that to do with like oil? Something to do with like lanterns and stuff. Pretty sure. Um, what else? We've got a flute. Got a paintbrush. A used painter's brush is displayed on the counter. Hmm. I'm gonna take the flute. I'll take the flute. The flute. Very good, Prince Alex. Flute. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Maybe Thank we you. can play this for like the snapdragons and they'll not try to eat us. We're going to have to go back there and get the milk again anyway, so we'll head over that way. We're going to have to work out this branch too. Doesn't really give us any clues. A stick is stuck in the middle of the swamp. Sure is. Um, I wonder what we could get across there with. I'm assuming nothing we already have. Scarf? Why would Alexander want to throw that in the swamp? I don't know, game. I don't know what I'm thinking. Wait, leave the microphone alone. Alexander takes a bottle of milk from Calm the milk we down, push. eh? Oh, dog. Dog treat. Apparently dog tree's the angry. Dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. Maybe we can give the dog tree some milk. Have some milk, dog tree. What would a dogwood tree do with that? 
Um, what would a dogwood tree enjoy? That's my question. Some some music, soothing music. Alexander plays a lovely little tune on the flute. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Alexander. Such a talented young man. Go see if the snapdragons enjoy our music. Would you lovely flowers be interested in this? I'm guessing we have to give them something. Guess not. Because it seems to be kind of like hinting with that dialogue that we have to give them something. Can we pick a tomato? Those tomatoes are not quite ripe yet, and Alexander shouldn't pull them off the vine. Okay. What are these? Alexander picks a head of oh, iceberg lettuce. 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 Interesting. Ye gads! Is that cold? Iceberg lettuce. Of course it's cold. Billy Alexander. Alexander is carrying a full head of a queer-looking uh, lettuce made of ice. I have an idea, actually. The lettuce is rapidly melting. Don't melt. Lettuce, we need you. Um, I have an idea for that. Because we had to get past that boiling water. Maybe we can put the iceberg lettuce in the water. Cool it down a little bit. If we can get out of the screen. Come on. What are you doing, Alexander? I said it's melting, though, which I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, come on. What the hell's with these damn screens? All right. Map on out of here. Alexander pulls out his magic map. I can see you eyeing up my mouse cur cursor. Any more? Only going to be a matter of time before I get a cat pouncing on my screen. Uh, where were we going? The beast. I'll Alexander the beast. feels a strange pulling sensation. Okay, let's try this. Don't melt on me, please, iceberg lettuce. You're my only hope. Leave the mouse cursor alone. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. Do it. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Good old lettuce. Some good life advice there if you ever need to get past Alexander decides boiling water. To brave the steaming Chuck some pond. lettuce in. Good. The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bathwater. We made it. So now we can grab this lantern. Alexander good. takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Is it going to have a genie? Probably save. Leave the game. What are we going to save as Seymour? Oh, got for your head there. Lead us to the rescue. Lead us to the rescue. As Alexander continues down the Ooh, path, this guy? he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. I get the strange feeling Come of being watched by everything in this game. Flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Oh, is this going to be one of these damn... What the hell's eyes are glowing? He's a cat. He's a cat, Seymour. He's like you. Um, is this going to be one of those dudes that's like trying to trick us? I don't quite know how we... Oh, what's that? Is that something? A brick lies in the grass. It must have come from the old brick wall. I feel like we're going to have to have a brick at the statue. Otherwise Alexander we're probably going to die. Him. Oh shit. Don't shoot. Alexander picks up the brick. Don't shoot me please. Okay, good. Um, I guess I just saved so it's probably fine. 
I'm gonna see what happens if we just walk through here. I'm assuming death. Jesus, this is a bit brutal. I was just jumping for joy. Gotcha this time. What are you doing? You're getting your head tangled in my headphone cord cable. You are a nuisance. Next. Are a nuisance. That move was slightly erroneous. Er, er, oh my god, erroneous game. Your puns are just getting worse every time. Oh geez, indeed. Oh geez. Took an arrow to the face. Down the path. Used to be an he adventurer like you. Feeling that he's being watched. So I took an arrow to the face. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Lies. It's all lies. Wait for puns on how the dogwood tree had a bark voice. Oh. I think that's like, that's actually a good pun. This game doesn't seem to have good puns. I like it. It could come into play though. We'll have to see. I have no clue what that dog tree is for. But it must be for something. Alright. Brick, go. Throwing the brick at the stone archer might scratch his marble, but it won't stop the archer's vigilant watch over the path. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe the scarf. The stone archer would undoubtedly shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. Hmm. Hmm. Scarf Why would on Alexander? There. Okay, well, I don't know how we're supposed to get through here. Alexander is carrying an old, battered hunter's lamp. Oh, that's right. We had the guy. Um, the lamp is empty. That is empty. We had the trader back in town that trades for lamps. I'm guessing that's for him. Ale Alexander Can't rub it. Rubs the lamp, but nothing happens. Hmm. How are we going to get past the statue? Maybe we still need something else. Come on through, I say. I can show you a path through the forest. Wait. No. Oh. Thought I couldn't do anything then. A stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. His stone bow is tightly drawn and fitted with a single stone arrow. Hmm. Oh, I think the brick might be for that maze, actually, now that I think of it. Maybe we can chuck that in those gears that we couldn't get past. Um, I'm not sure how we're getting past this, though. Guess we have to come back. Leave it for now. You aren't gonna listen to me, are you? Well, we'll just see about that. Uh oh, my dude. That's Whoa. odd. The gardener just disappeared. Oh, wait. Is that how we saw it? Or are we still gonna get shot? We are, okay. We probably have to come back to that, I guess. Okay, well, I have a feeling that the brick is what we need for the maze. So, I might head back there. Don't really have any other ideas at the moment. Apart from this lamp. I know we can trade the lamp. So we could go back to town and see Alexander if the lamp trade is there. His magic map. They seem to just show up randomly, so we'll have a look. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Kind of annoying that we only can use this map on the beaches. Very inconvenient map. Like, what if you lived in a country that's, like, hours from the beach? What would you do? It'd be useless to you. Alright. I don't know if it's just random when he shows up. He used to be sitting here. Like, the first time we came here. Maybe if we just walk back and forth a couple times. 
Also sounds wrong hearing about him pulling out. <laughs> so it kind of sounds wrong him saying he feels a strange pulling sensation. No way. But we won't go there. Okay, he's not showing up. We're going to try the maze. We will head to the beach. If this will let me. There we go. Um, once we're on the beach, I'm going to save. Because I'm pretty sure once we go to the island, we can't come back. Unless we do the maze. Okay. Save as. I guess we'll just save as letters to the rescue, because we haven't really done anything since that point. We picked up the brick. And then that was it. So Alexander pulls out his magic map. Pulling out the map again. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Hopefully we can get through this time. I'm gonna assume it's the brick that we need. Seems like something that would um stop the gears. And I do recall last time we looked up a hint and it said that the item we need was um i think it said the item we need was beyond that boiling water so i'm guessing it's the brick okay so what did we get from in here we got a skull the catacombs entrance door is locked from the outside by the winged one's guards oh that's right there was a shield it in seems here. that leaving the catacombs by that door is not an option somewhere in here there was a shield which I'm going to guess is for the defending against that arrow. Okay. Save. And then hope this brick will save our lives. It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. Oh no. And the ceiling is coming down. Oh dear. What are we going to do? Come on, brick. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. Um, I believe in you, Brick. You can do it. The Brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. Yes. The trap is sprung. Nice work, Brick. You're my new favorite hero. Okay. More maze. Probably be noting this down. Um. Okay, so we've got a room... I'm not even bothering checking these skeletons now because they've got like nothing. Somewhere far off into the catacombs, the sounds of hooves faintly echo. Alright, we've got a room going up, a room going down. Brick that we've been searching for exactly. we deserve all right okay sounds a trap zones i ain't gonna help you are we dead or what alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs uh oh wherever he is the place sure is dark alexander can't even see his hand in front of his face ah oh, crap did we need the tinder thing tinder box I feel like we might have needed the tinderbox here. God oh, damn, at least we can drink the milk and it will give us good sight like in Zork. Probably not. I think we're probably just dead. That's going to be annoying because it means... Um, I'm going to have to go back and get the bloody tinderbox instead. Unless we just took the wrong turn. Be a possibility. Wouldn't be able to do much down here though. It's way too dark. See my eyes and that's it. Alexander hears the scrabble of oh god. in the dark room. It's the unicorn. Hey. We're doomed. Hello? Jesus.
Tickets. Oh. Next. What's the pun going to be? In the dark, Alexander. Or in the dark? That was that was a pretty lame game. You could do better than that. All right. See what happens if we go the other way. I have a feeling we're just going to have to go back and get the um get the tinder box. So. In a desperate move, Alexander throws a brick into the grinding gears. The brick is caught between two cogs. The gears shriek and shudder. The mechanism grinds to a halt. The ceiling is stuck. The trap is sprung. The trap is sprung. Sprunged. Okay, we'll go down this time. Hopefully that's a bit more successful. I'm guessing not. Hmm. Seems okay. Oh, this is probably going to be the same, isn't it? No. Somewhere. Just, just a dead end. Off. Oh man. Okay, we'll probably have to go back and get the bloody tinder box. That is super annoying. Means we're gonna have to get all those damn items again. Good day, Prince Alexander. Okay. There's so no. we want the Flutie McFlute. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, and trade Prince it Alex, for the tinder box. Choose something in exchange for the items on the counter, Alexander. Do we need something to light this, or does it just work? I believe I'll take the tinderbox. I don't understand. Very good, Prince Alex. Enjoy your tinderbox and bring it back any time. Thank I you. I will. Don't you worry. What does it say? The pawn shop's tinderbox is slightly battered, but in reasonably good shape. The tinderbox contains a candle, as well as some flint and tinder. Okay, so that's probably all we need then. I'm guessing... We need oil. If we need oil, I don't know where it get, we get it from, so... We will just have to see what happens. It's a trap. The doors have sealed Alexander inside. And this... Oh dear. What will we ever do? In a desperate... The brick is caught. The mech... The trap is sprung. The trap is sprung. All right, come on, Tinderbox. Get to save me. Save me from the unicorn. Sounds a trap floor. Although we still don't know how we're going to deal with this unicorn. Alexander seems to have fallen wherever he. All right, do your magic torch. Do your magic. Where is it? Ah. It's two pages. Okay. I was going to say, oh my god, it's gone. Alexander takes the candle from his tinder box and uses the flint in the box to light it. Aha! So Aha. that's why it's dark in here. A torch is out. You want to see the unicorn? Alexander nope. lights the extinguished torch and puts his tinder box away. It's not here. Suspicious. Okay, so we've got more dungeon. Should probably be mapping out. Oh, no magic uniform corn for us. No, nope. we're safe for now. Okay, did I write this? I'm getting distracted. Okay, there's another room here. Alexander hears a low growl. Bloody unicorn. Must be scared of the light. Okay. Got a three way door. Actually, this is four ways, isn't it? Four ways. Let's go up. I feel like up's the correct direction. Uh, nope. There's a dead end. Okay. 
What is behind door number two? We've got another corridor. Of course. Unicorn's growl. I don't think this is a unicorn here. <laughs> Might not be. Might not be. We'll have to see. I'm betting on unicorn though. Gonna be the plot twist. Oh, As he walks okay. through the doorway, Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. Wait, did I say I didn't say the game, did I? Crap. No, oh, well, it's fine. So that room Dickens. is death. Oh. Next. Don't just wonder, Alexander. Let your conscience be your guide. Mm-hmm. All right. Do this for the it's a 50th time. These King's Quest games seem to have like a thing for mazes. I'm pretty sure the last three we've played have had mazes. Alexander hears a Yeah, we know Alexander, don't you worry. It's just a unicorn. As he walks through unicorn. the doorway, Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. A very bad feeling. Alright, we've got another room of death. Tickets. Oh. Next. Don't just want. Restore the game. Come on, can we come on that? I can't see my screen. What are you doing? Alright. So. Oh, okay, there was another doorway down that way, actually. We'll have a look at that one. Downwards, downwards, Alex. You win. Oh. Okay, so that way's death. This way is maybe not death. Maybe slightly less death. Yes, slightly less death. Alexander hears a low growling. It's fine. It's just your stomach. Okay, still alive is a good sign. Sign, okay. So we've got a corner there. Hopefully not more death. Alright, we're good. Running out of room on my paper again. This is a massive maze, I have to say. Oh my god, it's still going gonna be in trouble here because somewhere far get it I get it okay let's go up let's mix it up what is that some kind of painting a very beautiful very dusty tapestry hangs on the wall I think we should take it seems like the right thing to do Alexander does not see anything unusual about or under that tapestry, and the tapestry itself is much too heavy to take. Oh. Okay, well what are we going to do with it then? Any ideas? Um... What is this word? Alexander is carrying, oddly enough, a sentence. It says, where are you going? I have no clue what this is for. This is useless. Maybe it's like a secret passcode. There's no reason to use that. Okay, maybe not. Um, scarf. There's no. No. Hopefully not something we're missing. Maybe we can burn it. There's no reason. Talk to it. The tapestry. What did they say? The tapestry weaves its tail in silence. Ooh. Deep, but not really. All right, so we'll mark that as tapestry. T. 
continue to the left. Still had the other way to go too. There was like three doorways actually that we could go. This is such a big dungeon. Kind of getting over this to be honest. I like literally have no paper left for. Alexander hears a low growling, so Marking faint this. as to seem born of his fired imagination rather than of any living creature. More corridors. All the corridors. Surely the end must be in. Be in. The end must be nigh. Nope. Still going. Oh my godness. Oh my godness. End will never come. I think you're correct. This is just never ending. So many doorways. Still like three doorways up the other way we haven't gone. Somewhere gotten. far off into the catacombs, the sounds of hooves faintly. Sounds of hooves. Hooves, Seymour. Right. Oh my god, how many bloody doors are there? Jesus. Alexander here. This is enough now, game. We've had enough doors. Please. Have mercy. Okay. A dead end. I'm actually glad to Alexander see a dead end. The sound of the noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Whoa, what? Don't go over there. You'll die. Too bad Alexander has no way to see what's on the other side of that wall. Ah, oh, okay, so that little... Ah, oh, wait. Do we need the that thing? shift direction and become louder to the south. What's going on right now? Oh, he's coming in. We did. The sounds get louder still, now coming from the west. We're probably going to need that thing, uh -oh. um, back in that garden. Intruder. Oh, shit, that ain't no unicorn. Good. Just in time for dinner. Let's not be hasty now. Oof. He's a hasty non unicorn. Oh. Hasty Minotaur. Next. Crap, okay, Caught so. If only Alexander could have seen what was coming. Yeah. Um We're gonna need to get the little that little thing that was on the wall in the garden. Because that allowed us to see through that wall, I'm assuming that's what we need. Now, oh, man, it means we have to come down here again. Oh my god. But what are we going to use? Get that is the question. Um, let's just head over there and try and get some clues. Maybe we can just take it. I don't remember if I actually just tried to take it or not. Uh, hey there, Bloomlight. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening or this morning, depending where you are? We're a little bit stuck at the moment. Kind of. We've made a little bit of progress, but we are still missing some items. Um, Alexander pulls out his magic map. I think I know what we need, but we can't get it yet, I don't think. So we're just going to go investigate that real quick. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Is it on DOSBox? No, we're, um... Well, this is the one from GOG, which comes with DOSBox, but we're actually running it through Scum VM, which I've just found is a little bit more reliable. Uh, I had a couple of like weird crashes with DOSBox a little while back, so yeah, I've just found this. This seems to be a lot, a lot easier to run, a lot easier for me to stream it as well. So, but it's pretty good if you haven't checked it out before. You can pretty much run any of the adventure games through it. 
as far as I've found so far with it. Um, and it's really easy to like adjust settings compared to DOSBox, because most of DOSBox you need to like fiddle around with the files or use like um, use commands. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly save. So this here is what we need. There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. Because this through is like we can wall, see through. Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. But I don't know how we're going to get it. Because these Sounds. flowers don't Those enjoy us being here. Sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. Hmm. So I'm guessing we can't grab that. Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. Oh, okay, so we can... Can pick it up? Get him. Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. Oh, okay. So we need to get... Oh, God. How are we going to do this? So these things are like protecting the wallflowers, so we can't get near the wallflowers. So we either have to like... Um... Make them not shy or do something with these. No idea which one it's going to be. Maybe we can give them a scarf. Have a scarf. Alexander doesn't need to do anything to the garden wall. No, the flowers. Would you ladies be at all interested in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Hmm. What else could we give them? Milk. Would you ladies be at all interested in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Um. Mm, a feather? Probably not. Let's try it. Would you ladies be at all interested in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Okay. I guess I'll just try everything. The book's probably not going to do it. Would you ladies be at all interested in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Mm. Alexander. Oops. Um, it's not going to be the brick because that's for something else. Although this was for something else too, and we've still got it. I'm, I mean, it's obviously not going to be the brick, but I'm just going to try it because. Would you ladies be at all interested adventure games? In this? The wallflowers shyly decline. Did I try the feather? I did. Flower. Would you ladies be the wall? Lamp. Would you lady the wall Oop. Uh we tried the milk. Rabbit's foot. Would you lady the ring go. Would you lady the wall Would you lady the Word. Would you lady the Hmm Unless it's something from the Probably something from the pawn shop. This is kind of annoying because we have to keep going back and forth like, all the time. What did we have at the pawn shop? We had the um, the flute and the paintbrush and the bird, singing bird. See, we've used the bird already. We haven't used the paintbrush or the flute, so if it's going to be Alexander pulls anything, out. it's probably going to be one of them. Alexander, if you I'm guessing the flute. I feel like I tried the flute though, although I tried the flute on the um, tried the flute on the snapdragons, not on the wallflowers.
I literally have no other idea if this doesn't work because I, unless we're missing an item, but I don't know where it would be. Must be in a very mysterious place if we are. Alright, trade that back. Would you mind if I traded this in? Of course, Prince Alex, please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander looks closely at the items on the counter to make his selection. Mm hmm. I'll Go take for the, the flute. flute. The flute? Very the good. Flute. Thank you. The flute indeed. Okay, now all the way back to the bloody other island. Hopefully this works, otherwise we're going to have to come all the way back here again. Actually, I should probably save save us a trip. If this doesn't work. Take your time, Alex. Alexander. Alexander wonder. feels a strange pulling sensation. All right. Ah, that's the noise we want to hear. Perfect. May I have this dance? Oh my! <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful dancing there, flowers. Now, are we actually going to be able to grab that thing? Or is it just going to keep moving around? Alexander stops playing the flute, but the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. Perfect. Just what we want. Right, grab them. While the wallflowers <laughs> dance, Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. Okay, so that should fix that little issue, but just you know, so we wanted ultimate distraction, yes. Interpretive dance is the key. Key to the ultimate distraction. Okay, so we'll save over this one. Now hopefully that's the last item we need. Because it's going to be super annoying if we have to come back here again. It's a trap, and this. Okay, trusty brick. In a desperate mo the brick is caught between two cog. The mechanism. The trap. Trusty old brick. Now off to the falling and stuffs. Sounds a trap floor. Zounds. Alexander seems to have fallen to a lower level of the catacombs. Wherever he. Alright. Go, go, Tinderbox. Alexander takes the candle. Aha! Aha! Alexander. Alright. So. Where have we not been in here? We go this way, there's a few rooms we missed. So, I want to have a look at those before we go any further, and I should probably save. Alright, so that room was... nothing. Actually, no, that room was the... Yep, that room was nothing. Literally nothing. Looking good, yep, we're good so Alexander far. Hears the distant sounds of a wild animal. We um 
came down here before and then we died. And then we also got stuck because we were missing an item. As he walks through the doorway, oh God, okay. so Alexander gets a very bad feeling about this room. Death. Death awaits us. Dickens. Oh. Next. Next. Don't you? All right. So that's one room down. There's two more. So that's the first one that we did. And there should be another one down here. God, this one's going to go on forever as well, isn't it? Man, how big is this bloody dungeon? So many Alexander rooms. Here's the sound of a wild beast again. This oh, okay. Time, so loud that the creature itself seems to be in the same room with him. Oh, no. The noises are coming from the other side of the east wall. Okay, so we should be able to use this here. Look through the wall. Alexander puts the hole in the wall on the east wall. But the hole in the wall trembles slightly with dread at the clammy feeling of the stones. So right hole in the wall, don't be afraid. Alexander peers through the hole in the wall and sees a unicorn. Just another room in the catacombs. Oh, there is. What are we gonna do? Not just another room at all. So that's why Alexander couldn't find the Minotaur's lair. At least Alexander now knows the lair exists somewhere in the maze on the other side of this wall. Ow. Oh, he's gone. While Alexander contemplates what he's just seen, the hole in the wall, frightened by the Minotaur, makes a run for it. Alexander hopes the little creature finds its way home to the Isle of Wonder. How am I going to figure out where that is? Oh, actually. If my map is correct, which it's probably not, well, let's just hope that it is. Um, that looks like it lines up with the wall with the tapestry on it. I think. I mean, it would kind of make sense that it does. So, let's have a look. So we need to go away this way. Although we did inspect that wall and there was nothing. But maybe it'll change now that we've seen him go in there. Okay, way down here. Way, way, way down. And then it should be like two screens over and up. And then I guess up again. I might just save. Should be here. Good. Now, how does this work? Hmm. This tapestry looks familiar. It does. Now, let's see. I don't feel anything. Aha! A Aha. hidden latch. Did it. Alexander triggers the little latch. A secret door rolls open. Perfect. Perfect. No! I'm Holy you. crap. Please don't hurt me! Your struggles are useless. Grr. It's the Minotaur, and he's struggling with a winged one's girl. She must be Lady Celeste. Let's get him. Uh, some offer him some milk. Alexander steps forward, determined to use anything at hand to save the girl. But before he can do anything, you there, human, help me! I'm trying. Help, help me! <sighs> Who dares enter my lair? Things go serious yet. I ask yep. you to release your captive or suffer the consequences. Release at once. Never. You die, human. That was a good plan, Alexander. As the Minotaur advances in attack. Alexander slowly backs away. 
Oh, we're gonna have to use our scarf. I bet ya. Until he can back away no more. Release the Kraken. Oh, if only we had the Kraken. Ah. Gonna need some like throat lozenges or something. Come on, scarf. Help. Alexander, Go. his back inches from the fiery pit, tempts the Minotaur with the Red Queen scarf. Look here, you bully! Nice, bright red. Your favorite color. Or your least red. favorite color, technically. I hate red. Now you die. Or you die. The Minotaur Burn in drops hell. from sight amidst the consuming flames. Slowly, his scream fades as well. That's what you get, Minotaur. Have you been harmed, Lady Celeste? Are you alright? No, I am not alright. I assume you do not intend to leave me tied up on this vile monstrosity. I might just do that if uh, you don't use your manners. Of course not. Sorry. Jeez. Let's see. You saved your life. If you'll give me a moment, I'll have these untied in no time. I can't wait that long. Look. I wear a small dagger just inside my belt. It should be enough to cut the rope. Oh, she sounds right, like I, someone. I, Who I've does she it, sound like? Celeste. Here we go. She sounds like the. Thank you. You may keep the dagger as a gift for saving my life. That's very mm, generous. Maybe not. Forget it. Do you mind if we just get out of it here? Sound now? familiar though. You're just gonna be a biatch about it. Yeah, exactly. Like, what the hell? We just came all the way down here the to save you. The one's guards, bored with the pointless waiting, are startled by the sound of rock moving against rock. To me, Mario. Ladies, <laughs> yeah, we should just leave it here. Well. Leave it tied up. Quite well, thanks to the bravery of a mere human. So much for your superior intellect. Yeah, guys. Jeez. Hey, now bring him along. I'm going home. Well, she just turned into a bird. The hell? Just looked away for a second. I then. see you have proven yourself the hero of the prophecy. I sure well, am. I am expected to thank you for saving my daughter's life. So I thank you. I am obliged to thank you for the restoration of our sacred catacombs. It means much to our people. We have already begun the process of clearing the deadly traps from its rooms. Yay. It is also my duty to grant There's many traps down there. The Oracle. It might be there so a while. I do. I will grant you the freedom to leave here unharmed, despite my orders to the contrary from the Crown. But there, my obligations to you end. I have no love for Alhazred, but he is my liege, and if Princess Kasima trusts him and wishes to wed him, my guards will take you to the Oracle now. When your time with her is through, I want you to leave the City of the Winged Ones and never return. I don't know who you are or what you want here, but I will not disobey my crown further. I thank you, Lord Azure. I will respect your wishes. Thanks, Lord. Thanks for everything. So now I can afford some. He does, yes. Yes, indeed. Hail to thee, great oracle. Lord Everyone else seems to have clothes. Sends just you this wingless male. It appears that he solved the clits of logic and... Defeated the Minotaur in his lair. So I have seen. So this is the one that haunts my pool of late. Welcome, young seeker. What knowledge do you desire? Tell Princess me the meaning of Kasima. life. Whatever you can tell me, great oracle. Ah, of course, the princess. That explains my images. Let us see what we can see. What can you see, wise oracle? I see a maiden, lovely and pure, but surrounded by evil. Who oh, no. She's a rose set amidst bitter thorns. Your princess. Yes. <laughs> it is her fate to be the pawn of dark powers. And yours to try to redeem her. How? How do I redeem her? Fate is not like the cut of a blade, young one. But rather, like the myriad of paths formed when a hammer cracks ice. I will tell you what I can. 
But what will actually come to pass is up to you. I see that any attempt to reach the girl will force you into battle, a struggle against a dark force. If you lose, your life will be forfeit. Oh no, not Who must forfeit. I fight? A great darkness surrounds your adversary, preventing me from seeing clearly. I can only make out the shape of a black cloak. But before this final struggle, I see an infiltration. A dangerous game of hide-and-seek in corridors filled with enemies. The risks are high, but it is the only way to reach the one you seek. Sounds like a good There's time. There's more than one way into this place. Your choice will dictate much. I'm guessing that's what the castle. What else do you see, mighty oracle? Lime flavored. Oh, oh, such pain. I see two restless spirits crying out for revenge. These Probably the wizard we turned into a cat. Destroy the dark force. Oh, no. If they were to be brought back from their spiritual form, yet this is only one possible path to your. Oh, that's destiny. right. This game has like multiple endings. I I'm think. Afraid this is getting depending beyond. on what we do. I know very little about the afterlife. I can only advise getting counsel from the druids. Be warned. Where are these druids? The druids are reclusive and dangerous. See a sea in the sea. You, or they might destroy you. See what we can like see in the island. sea. The druids' nature sea. is hidden in the mists. The mists. There is nothing or more mists. I can do for you. Except to give you this. What is it? It Some is a lime flavoured potion. That and my blessing. Oh, maybe we pour that on the vines and then they like get strong and we can Thank climb you, them. Great Oracle. That's what I'm thinking. What else did we get? We got the shield so we can get past that other bit. We got a dagger. The small dagger is a gift from Lady Celeste. Its handle is decorated with precious gems set in a delicate feminine style. Beautiful. It's a beautiful. Um, we got the skull, we got potion. Got the shield. And we got the coins. The two coins from the skeleton in the catacombs are extremely old and corroded. I wonder if we can trade those to the shop, dude. Uh, Alright, map time. Alexander. If we can trade those. That would be good, because then it means we can grab a few more items. Alexander, if you And not have to keep, like, trading all the time. Which is super annoying. Super annoying. Alright. Oh, and we need to find that lamp trader, dude, too. Because we've got a lamp now. We've got a lamp now. Good He's back. Day, Prince Alexander. This is the guy in the black cloak that she was talking about. A mysterious old man also patronizes the pawn shop. He steals sidelong glances at Alexander from under his hood. Talk to him. Haven't I seen you somewhere before, sir? No! Yes. But I'm quite sure. Perhaps on some cliffs. No. 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 Isle of the Beast. No. Darkside. No. Leave me alone. Not very friendly, is he? Hmm. Let's stab him. Alexander may not at all care for that man in black, but that's no excuse for getting violent. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Why don't we tip some potion on? Would you be interested in? No, no. leave me alone. Sorry, I'm sorry. All right, can we trade these? Would you be interested in trading for these coins? Hmm. 
Those coins have been around a long time. The copper is too corroded for me, friend. They're rare. They're rare items. Would you be interested in... No! No. No, no, no. Alright, well, I guess we will go try and use that shield to get past that statue. That's my first plan. And then I assume we have to try and find a way into the castle. Back to the bloody beach to use the map again. Alexander. Uh, which one was that? Isle of the Beasts. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. It's Bambi. Hello, Bambi. How are you doing? All right. the statue we've got a shield we're good we should be able to there's no reason alexander decides to pass through the gate preparing the shield just in case good plan alexander the magic ah. arrow completely shatters the shield good thing the arrow didn't hit alexander very good thing very good thing indeed so what do we got in here Flowering rose hedges grow on either side of the path winding north. Can we take one? Alexander takes a magnificent white rose from the rose hedges. Yes. Perfect. No idea what we're going to use that Alexander for. Alexander but... has enough trouble without digging around in the dirt for more. Alexander walks forward to step onto the gazebo. Oh, we're going to die. But the rose hedges oh. on either side of the path, sensing an intruder's presence, reach out their vines and blend together. The path is blocked. Let's stab it. The dagger isn't strong enough to... Huh. What are we going to do? Ocean. That won't help Alexander. The fire. Burn them. Don't start forest fires. Oh, sorry. Hmm, okay, I guess we need something else. We've got a rose. No clue what we're going to do with that. But we've got it. <laughs> yeah, burn it to the ground. That's what I thought too, but apparently not. I pre yeah, we need... What's, what's the fire, dude? The beer? It always goes on about forest fires. Smoky beer. He's going to, like, jump out from somewhere in a minute, I feel. Um, okay. Alexander pulls out his magic map. My only other idea now is to use that, like, potion on the vines. Alexander. Maybe it'll make them grow or something. What does it say about the skull? It says... Alexander is carrying a human skull. That's what it says. Human skull. See, the thing is, um, we could have easily missed the skull and the coins when we were down in that dungeon, so. Although I guess they did say they were clearing the traps, so maybe we can go back down there again. There was like one, two, three, like three rooms we didn't go through. So we could possibly still be missing something. Be super annoying because I don't really want to go back down there again. Been down there enough. Uh, okay. Potion. That would. That. Alex. There's no. Alex. Oh. Okay. Dagger. Alex. That. Hmm. 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 What else could we use? Maybe we can just stab these guards. I really must get inside the castle to see the princess. Perhaps this will convince you. Be Damn gone! Him. We have no interest. 
No, I thought he was going to stab him. Potion. Or rose. The rose. I really must get inside the castle to see the princess. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Okay, never mind. Sleeping girl. Maybe she needs the potion. We was the sleeping girl. I don't remember the sleeping girl. Um. Is this girl here? But we can't get in here. The girl is too far away to hold a convert. And there's like roses here, but we can't take them. Will you stop hanging around those stupid rose bushes? If you've got nothing better to do, the chimney could be cleaned. Coming, stepmother. Bloody stepmother. Alexander has not been invited to pick the family's roses. Alexander doesn't want to intrude on private property. Yeah, so I don't know how to get into this place. No idea. Alexander, that would serve. There's no idea. Um, okay. What else can we do? We need to trade this lamp, but that lamp trade is like just not showing up now. I don't know if it's random or if it's just gonna like appear at some point when we need it. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. What else can we do? I don't know. Alexander. Don't know. Alexander, if you. Wait. There's an island over there? Oh. Okay. I didn't even know this was here. From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Oh god, we probably did. Alexander is standing on the beach of a shrouded island. From here, two paths lead into the island. One to the northwest and one to the northeast. Weird gnarled trees and rolling mists add to the island's eerie atmosphere. Ooh, that prophecy said something about mist okay well this is new i just like saw there was an island down there that i'd never noticed before maybe that's only just appeared at the spectacle before him robed figures are gathered around a bonfire some mystical ceremony is taking place but as to its purpose alexander has no clue brothers look it's me uh oh alexander's been seen don't mind me guys this must uh, be the foreigner this. we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place him in the sacrificial cage. Wait! Uh oh. I must rescue the princess. There's an ancient druid saying. Oh, these are the druids. A man who would save others must first save himself. Okay. Alexander so is we got pushed to into the confining wicker cage. Save ourselves somehow. We're gonna be barbecued. And the cage is swung out over the bonfire. I'm gonna get toasty. God, what are we gonna do? Alexander starts to feel a little warm. Okay, can we do anything? The bottom of the cage is getting. Come on, do something, man. You're gonna die. Alexander is getting really hot. Mercifully, Alexander passes out from the heat before the first tongues of flame ignite the wicker. Oh my god. Melted. Okay. Tickets. Oh. Next. Finally, we stayed further that back. I know. A bit too hot to handle. He literally just like Alexander walked. Should have been better prepared. Right into the middle of them. That was silly, Alexander. Um, where the hell did I save? Okay, we saved here. Nothing else has happened yet, has it? Should we go? I guess we should go back to that Alexander. island. Because there was another direction we could go in. 
feel like this was not here before. Or maybe I'm just dumb and didn't see it. Alexander feels a str From the northeast come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Well, let's not go that way then. It only leads to death. Whoa. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. What is this place? Lots of interesting things. A horned animal skull is on display in the center of the village. Based on its central location, it may perhaps serve as ceremonial protection against danger. Let's take it. Alexander can think of less desirable things to carry around. Alexander. Hmm, okay. A communal fire pit occupies a place of honor in the center of the little village. The fire pit, naturally enough, contains coal. The coals are cold. That's odd, because Alexander definitely smells the smoke of an open fire close by. Oh, that's a different fire, Alex. That's the one where you're going to get barbecued. Don't you worry about that. Alexander reaches into the fire pit and takes a lump of coal. Cool. I'm going to guess that's probably for the, the queen's lead up saw. to the treehouse's entrance. The steps are sheltered by a worn animal hide. As Alexander peers into the dark entryway, he can make out a well-bolted wooden door. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. All right. Are we going to die if we try to go into one of these tents? We probably are. So go in the tent. The doors to the treehouses are bolted, and Alexander doesn't want to intrude into the private dwellings uninvited. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Okay, what about this one? The doors to the treehouses are bolted. The steps. The treehouses. No. What's this thing? A wooden handled scythe hangs against a bearskin on one of the treehouses. Let's get it. Oh, we could maybe use that on the rose bushes that grew. Alexander takes the scythe. That's what I reckon. Okay, we'll save it here just in case we get barbecued. Um, maybe we can go up this way. The way north is blocked by impenetrable forest. Hmm, doesn't really look like it to me. From the east come the sounds of mysterious drums and chanting. Okay, so I'm guessing if we go this way, we die. Why, why do you walk that that close, man? What the hell? Robed figures are gathered around a bonfire. Some mystical ceremony is taking place, but as to its purpose, Alexander has no clue. Brothers, look! Uh-oh. Alexander's been seen. Uh-oh. This must be the Alexander. we were warned about. How appropriate that he should come during our rain festival. Place hey, him in the sacrificial he? cage. What are you doing? Wait! I must rescue the princess! There's an ancient druid saying, a man who would save others must first save himself. Must first be Alexander a barbecue. Is pushed into the confining wicker cage. I wonder if there's a way you can get out of this. And the cage is swung out over the bonfire. I'm gonna guess he's not. Alexander starts to feel a little warm. The Seems like almost like we could do something here, hot. but it doesn't actually give me the option to interact with anything, so I guess we can't. Alexander is getting really hot. Mercifully, Alexander passes out from the heat before the first tongues of flame ignite the wicker. Oi, don't drink my coffee. Up it. Tickets. Oh. Next. That was a bit too hot to handle. Yeah. Alexander should have been better prepared. All right. So maybe we can use the scythe then. And I'm guessing the coal we can give to that queen that was like 
talking about how amazing coal Alexander is. Alexander pulls out his magic map. What are you doing? Any more? Sit down, please. What are you doing? Alright, so where was that rose bush? That was... Here? Alexander feels a... It was. He's standing all over my keyboard, cat. Silly little kitty. Oh, come here. Down. Behave yourself. Wait. Oh, uh, wait. We didn't. We didn't do this yet. Oh, okay. I must have um. What did we do? We got the rose, and then I tried to use the rose, and then, oh, okay, and then we went to that island and we died, so I think the rose is the only thing we're missing. Alexander decided. The magic arrow completely shatters the shield. Good thing the arrow didn't hit Alexander. That's a very good thing. Okay, Alexander so. walks. Grab a rose. Alexander takes a, a beautiful rose, and then maybe we can cut through with this. Alexander Aha. wields the scythe, determined to get past the magical rose hedges. Do it. The leaves fly as Alexander tries to cut the branches faster than they can grow back together. Oh. He sees light. Oh, it's working. He's through. Nice work. Who's that? Rumpelstiltskin? Oh my god. Who dares enter Beast Garden? My name is Alexander. I didn't mean to disturb your private garden. No. And yet, monsieur, you could hardly have accidentally broken through the three enchanted traps of the Isle of the Beast. Um, yeah, that's I, a good point. I suppose it is simply my nature to break through enchanted traps. <sighs> You must be a prince, then. I am. I know the nature of princes all too well. This face you see before you is hideous, is it not? Well, <laughs> for the face of a beast, it is really quite noble. Good answer. I'm Good glad answer, you Alex. Like it, for you will soon own one just like it. I, too, was once a pretty prince. Caring for nothing but adventuring and rescuing fair maidens. But I rankled one too many evil hags. One dark night, I was turned into this obscenity you see before you. Warped in shape and trapped on this enchanted island over a hundred years ago. Surely there is a way off this island. Oh, What's surely. My map? You broke in, did you not? And yet think, where would I go clad so eloquently as I am with this silk and this pelt. You see, my prison is also my sanctuary. You are the first to break through the barriers in lo these many years. That is, except for the druids who stole my heirloom coat of arms. If there's any way I can help. Help? You? I'm afraid you don't understand. The enchanted barriers were a warning and protection for you more than for me. Your prize for forcing your way past them is to join me in this dire life. No, By what? the laws of this sorcery, you are doomed to be trapped in the form of a beast. Your reward for broaching this garden is to be my slave, a slave as beastly as I am. You have only a few hours of humanity left. But that's not possible. There must be some way to break the enchantment. Spells always have a weakness somewhere. The enchantment you are under is tied to my own. Oh, the sorceress left me a way out. But I'm afraid it was only her final bitter joke. You what see, is it? I need only find a maiden to join me here, to share my castle, my life, willingly. Take another look at me. 
You can't help but admire the hag's terrible cruelty and cunning. I shall try to find such a maid, for Cosima's sake. Truly? How determined of But you. where? I personally would not waste my last few hours as a man on an impossible errand. However, you may do as you please. I give you this token. What is it? Something it's helpful, my family please? ring, and the only heirloom I have left. If perchance you should... If you think you have found a maid... <sighs> I shall give her this ring. Yes, she must accept it of her own free will. By doing so, she accepts me. Not that you shall find anyone, mind you. Your we'll see about that. Short. Count the minutes on your fingers while your fingers you have, pretty prince. Your master will await you. Oh God, we've got to find a maiden. And fast. A fountain in the middle of the clearing bubbles with fresh glittering water. Um, can we do anything with this? Fill it up? There's no time to do anything with the fountain now. Oh, okay. So we're gonna find a maiden real fast. Let's go. Go, let's go. The only person I can think of would be the... Um, handmaiden that we saw in that garden. But we can't even, like, talk to her. Alexander pull oh, that's, like, the only person I can think of. Pretty sure there wasn't anyone anywhere else. Wonder was there anything there? What was that that island? Alexander. Okay, we'll go here and see if we can find a fair maiden. Thinking not. Feel kind of bad. We're gonna have to like trick her into. Marrying this dude or whatever. Oh, she's near the fence. The girl is too shy and fearful to talk to a stranger. Uh, here, have a ring. Excuse me, maid, but I have someone I'd like to tell you about. Please, sir, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. I ain't no stranger. Excuse me, maid. Please. I'm, uh... Uh... What are we gonna do? Rose, have a rose. Pardon me, maid. I hope you don't think me forward, but I see that you like roses. I thought you might, perhaps, like a fresh white rose? Alexander can see the conflict in the girl's pretty face as she fights between her distrust of him and her desire for the white rose. The rose wins. Go, Rose. Good on you. Oh, I shouldn't, sir, but it is so lovely. I've never seen a rose of white. It looks so pale and delicate. Wherever did you find one of such a color? There are many hedges of them on the Isle of the Beast, and they grow together like magic. Oh, truly? What an adventure that must be to see them. But you can I come and see them. Speak so, Let's take this ring. To a stranger. It'll all be good. Thank you for the rose, though. Kind sir. Have a ring. Alexander has a thought about the serving girl. He decides to bring up the subject of beast with her. Beast. Let me tell you about the place where the white roses grow. The Isle of the Beast is an enchanted place. There's a path running through a deep forest. The path crosses three magic blockades set to keep all visitors away. At the center lives a tremendous beast. Really? Magic blockades? How exciting! What kind of a beast? Is it very terrifying and ferocious? It is a beast Not really. that walks on two legs and dresses like a prince. It speaks with the voice of a man. A beast that talks and wears clothes? How is that possible? Is the beast magic too? Not magical. Yes. Enchanted. Well, the beast of. was once a prince, but a witch trapped him in the form of a beast and set him on the island. There he lives in a castle in the midst of a maze. How terrible. Imagine how lonely he must be. It is him. a very lonely prospect, isn't it? Oh. I have met him, you see. He is indeed ferocious, 
But who would not be? He really exists? Oh, how it breaks my heart. If I could, I would tend to such a beast. Such a beast might find comfort in a kind face. Do you not think it's so? Oh, I concur. I think it's so. I very much think it's so. Because I'm going to turn into a beast very soon if you don't agree. Afraid? Him? afraid? Maybe at first. But how silly of me to speak so. The roses in this little yard are the only magic I will ever see. I could take you there. In fact, I would owe you my life if you would go. If you truly wish to go. You are serious? I could leave here? Oh, I have always dreamt of leaving. But to actually go. This is the only home I have ever known. Home is a hard place to leave. Even if you're unhappy there. But I will go. If I can help him. I, I must go. Yes, let's go. Let's do it. You're gonna save my life, lady. You the best. Is there nothing you wish to take with you? There is. What about a rose? Then take this ring. It is his. He will be pleased if you would wear it. Why, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Thank you kindly, sir. Beauty! Where do you think you're going? Shut up, Mom. To a place where roses grow, and to someone who truly needs me. I see wow, what is that? Ring. You willingly agree to Not spend a... your life here with me? Do you know what that means? Yes, my lord, I do. I have been touched by your story. Pity alone need not sentence you to endure this face. Oh, but it is a Dude, you should be face. happy this is gonna, like, kind. break your curse, you isn't it? me so sweetly and are not repulsed. Oh, by the light of your eyes, my spirit soars. Ta-da! The enchantment! It is broken! I am pleased to have served you, my lord. Do you still wish me to stay? What? Speak not such nonsense, beauty. Do you think that I learned nothing of true love during my time here? You are my queen. Yeah. Oh, my clothes. This gown. What's going on? How well, it suits your noble heart. Magic everywhere. Alexander, how can I ever repay you? I have nothing to offer except my gratitude. But please, take these old clothes. Perhaps you'll find someone in need during your travels. You have already oh, repaid me maybe by we your can use that as a disguise courage, to get into and the by your um, friendship, I hope. To the you castle. Will have our friendship and loyalty, Prince Alexander. We did see some mates going from in the earlier. Fellow adventurer, take some advice. If you find your true love, protect her with your life. Fear all beasts without the redeeming humanity of love. And to aid you, accept my mirror. Now that my life Mirror. is no longer hung in false shadows, I have no need for it. Give it to someone with nothing to fear from the truth it reveals. Thank you. I wish you both well. Now I'm going to do with this Come, mirror. Beauty. Let me take you home. No idea. Uh, I'm guessing the... What was that thing? Come back. Um, I'm guessing the clothes are gonna be for a disguise. Beauty's old clothes are very ragged and heavy. They consist of a long, thick dress and a headpiece which covers the hair and most of the face. Cool. A long strand of Beauty's blonde hair is caught in the mantle. Take it. Alexander searches through Beauty's clothes and finds a long strand of blonde hair. The hell am I gonna do with that? Alexander has a single strand of Beauty's golden hair. Sounds like it's gonna come in handy. Not. Beast's mirror consists of a piece of glass set into a decorative frame. The glass is unusually clear, and the image particularly true. Cool. 
Ooh, cool, cool. Not sure what that's for, but sounds like it's important. 